Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2017 Nissan Rogue with a 2.5 liter engine in it. I'm going to be pointing out a few of the emissions components such as your PCV valve and your oxygen sensors and giving you some information about how those components work. This should be the same if not very similar to the second generation Rogues from 2014 to current, so 2019. To get started, we want to make sure we're looking at the same vehicle. We will be able to tell if we are by looking at your under hood label right here. This label lets you know what is on your vehicle emissions wise, your engine family, your emissions family, and what size engine you have. To get started, right here on top of the engine. Here is your canister purge valve or solenoid. This solenoid allows fuel vapors to go into the intake so the vapors are burned through the combustion system and the catalytic converter and out the tailpipe. A bad purge solenoid can cause many codes, some of which would be a P0441 or a P0446. Those are common, but they do cause many more codes. The main issue that I see with these a lot is that they don't close all the way. So you could do a nine volt battery test or a ohms resistance test these cause a large evap leak or sometimes a small evap leak. So they do commonly go bad. This is your vapor purge solenoid. Just to the passenger side of your purge solenoid, you're going to find your PCV valve. Here is your PCV valve. The PCV valve uses the engine vacuum to pull blow by gases out of the crankcase and push the gases into the intake manifold and back into the combustion chamber where they will be reburned through the combustion process and hopefully go out the tailpipe and through the catalytic converter to be cleaned up. If you have a bad PCV valve, it can cause many symptoms from an increase of internal combustion pressure, which causes excessive blow by, and that's how you get oil leaks, a lot of oil leaks, failure of one or more seals and gaskets, again, oil leaks. You'll get moisture and sludge buildup inside the engine if your PCB valve is stuck in the closed position. Moisture and sludge is obviously not good and causes more problems down the road. If you have a stuck open PCB valve, you're gonna get a rough engine idle, you're gonna get a bad air fuel mixture and increase of oil consumption as well. You might also start to see blue smoke come out of the tailpipe because you're gonna be sucking so much oil through your PCV valve. This is your positive crankcase ventilation valve. Coming back on over to the driver's side, between the radiator and your exhaust manifold, you're gonna find an oxygen sensor. Here and is your here bank is. one, sensor one, oxygen sensor, or possibly air fuel ratio sensor. Look for a link in the description below to purchase if you need one. The oxygen sensor works by sending information to your vehicle's computer or ECU to help your vehicle run more efficient as well as reduce emissions coming from the tailpipe. It does that by reading how much fuel or air is in the exhaust stream and sending that information to the computer so the computer knows how much fuel to give or take away from the engine at that time. This is your oxygen sensor. Now, the only time I would really think about replacing these sensors off the bat is if I was chasing a P0135 or a P0141 code if I was chasing a lean or rich code, I would start looking for a problem around the exhaust system uh, for exhaust leaks or vacuum uh, leaks as such. Moving on, we're going to find the Bank 1 Sensor 2 oxygen sensor or your post cat oxygen sensor right down here, right near where the drive. Here is the location of your Bank 1 Sensor 2 oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. If you need one, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase. Post catalytic converter oxygen sensors are on your vehicle to measure the efficiency of the catalytic converter and should not affect the efficiency of the engine itself. 
but that is up for debate these days. If your rear oxygen sensor is going bad, it could give you a false check engine light for a P0420 or a P0422 as such, saying it's bad catalytic converter when it's just the oxygen sensor not reading properly. Here is your post catalytic converter oxygen sensor. Same thing goes with your post oxygen sensors. I would only replace these right off the gate if I was chasing a heater circuit malfunction rather than a catalyst efficiency code. Hopefully this video helps you out. Make sure you comment below with the year, make, model, and engine size that it did help you out with. And maybe one of these two videos right here will help you out even more. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Tell everybody about me. I'll see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for watching.